As you guys can see, we are playing Dragon Ball Sparking Zero inside of the Horizon Emulator version 3.0. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aprix here. In today's video, we'll be setting up the newest version of Horizon Emulator Android, which was released just 20 hours ago. It is the official Horizon Emulator version 3.0, and after setting it up, I'll be testing out Dragon Ball Sparking Zero on this emulator to see how well does it actually perform. With that being said, on the official GitHub page of Horizon Emulator, you'll be able to read an important notice that there is an fake Horizon emulator in Google Play Store which is literally priced at around $10 and 100 plus people have already tried it thinking that it is Horizon Emulator but no guys it is fake Horizon Emulator so don't try it out as you know Horizon is an open source Windows Emulator for Android which is considered to be best in terms of performance and you will be able to see the minimum requirements right here you will need at least Android version 9 or above along with Turnip support and Arc64 root is not required that's about it and you need Adreno GPU because as you will be able to see Virgil support has still not been implemented in this version 3.0 update and built-in controllers have yet to be added nonetheless in terms of releases there is only one single release for now which is the latest Horizon Emulator version 3.0 if you take a look then there isn't any huge changelog of this update well I'll be explaining all the new features or new changes that have been made in this update so make sure to add it on your Android devices as I have added it already I'll just go ahead and open it and let me tell you guys that you'll need to clear data of previous Horizon Emulator if you are facing issues like not being able to create a new container or anything like that if your horizon emulator 4 stops then simply clear data and update to this version of horizon emulator you can go to this section at the bottom and make sure to tap on this refresh icon and if you have any brand new updates then you can simply tap on the update all you can tap on the change log button to see what all has been changed in terms of new updates so brand new turnip versions have been added along with box 64 and dxvk packages and you will be able to see glipsy is also present here for today's video we'll be using using the Wine 9.16 staging which is currently not the latest Wine version but still it will do. X keyboard configuration has also been added. Nonetheless let's just go ahead and open settings and start setting up the Horizon emulator. Make sure to go to X11 settings, set the display resolution mode to exact and display resolution to 800 by 600 or 1280 by 720p depending on your device specification. As I have an high end device which is IQ12 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, I'll go with 720p resolution. Stretch to fit display should be enabled and yeah that's about it you don't need to mess around with anything else in terms of environment settings make sure to create a brand new preset afterwards scroll down and set the big block level to zero this is very important so that you get the best performance possible once that has been done you can just go and scroll down video memory for gta 5 you can set it to 1024 if you have 8 plus gb of ram and in terms of cpu topology make sure to set it to 8 cores video memory set it to no limit once that has been done you can also disable services startup it's not really necessary and enable max processor frequency to get the best amount of performance possible though it may cause your device to have some heating issues but still we'll enable it for today's testing purposes and make sure to set the uh, mango heart position at top left corner along with that font size set it to 18 and yeah that's about it in terms of best settings make sure to go back to your container settings afterwards tap on create a new container where you'll need to go to environment preset and make sure to choose the new preset one afterwards box 64 version make sure to choose the latest 21 october 2024 box 64 version in terms of dxvk drivers you get uh, 5 dxvk wrappers 1.6.1 2.4.1 1 and a synchronous versions well i recommend you guys to go with 2.4.1 afterwards in terms of turnip driver here are the turnip drivers provided by the developer you get revision 9 kimchi driver which is the original turnip driver that we use in all uh, other windows emulators like winlater etc that is what we'll be going with but you can also use the official horizon emulator driver to see if it works the best for you in terms of vkd3d make sure to set it to 2.13 d8vk set it to 1.0 direct text dlss should be native once that has been done now we have successfully finished setting up the horizon emulator version 4.0 all that is left is to simply tap on the file manager and start our container now if you are opening the horizon emulator for the first time it may take some time for the horizon emulator to start but there we go as you will be able to see our horizon windows emulator has successfully started there isn't anything special that you need to configure you can simply enable input bridge to get the on-screen touch controls like you will be able to see at the top left corner and if we go back to horizon emulator then yeah now the on-screen touch controls will be present anyways let me just go ahead and load up dragon ball sparking zero and i'll be back and there we go guys our game has successfully started dragon ball sparking zero on my android 
Android device inside the Horizon Windows emulator for Android. At the top left corner, you will be able to see the FPS bar as well as RAM usage and, and here we go as you will be able to see Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has successfully started on my Android device. I'll just go ahead and press the space bar and then start our game. If this video reaches 150 likes, I'll be comparing the WinLater Android 8.0 alongside the Horizon Emulator version 3.0 to find out which is actually the best Windows emulator for Android. And as I have enabled max processor frequency in the preset, I should be getting the most amount of FPS possible while emulating this game. Currently it is lagging a little bit or stuttering I might say. Uh, that's because it is actually loading shaders. Now guys for some reason the save file that I added wasn't properly working it was causing the game to crash so I have literally removed the save file from my Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and this time there is no crashing issue the game has successfully started and you will be able to see at the top left corner the FPS is pretty amazing well will it be better than WinLater Android let's find out after this cutscene is over in my personal opinion WinLater has gotten pretty stable and it is very difficult to judge between these two Windows emulators for Android but clearly at the top left corner I'll I am able to see that we are getting almost 20 plus FPS while emulating this game which is quite a lot to be honest. I'll be 100% honest. I have emulated this game on my WinLater Android container and I got very low FPS. I was getting around uh, 11 to 12 FPS whereas you will be able to see we are currently getting 30 FPS so it is actually pretty reliable if you want to emulate high end titles inside the horizon emulator android anyways let's try attacking Vegeta and yeah everything is being rendered properly there are no stuttering issues well the game freezes sometimes if you know then uh, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has a bug in windows emulators for android where if you try to do some big attacks the game will literally freeze but currently it has not yet frozen and yeah it is working properly so in my opinion horizon emulator is pretty great windows emulator but i am noticing that my android device is heating up quite a lot so i would recommend you guys to disable the uh, max processor frequency option that will make sure that your device does not overheat this game is a very heavy title and very hard to emulate so yeah it makes perfect sense for your device to overheat that's why don't enable max processor frequency and yeah that's going to be it for today's video be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification and let me know in the comment section down below which emulator do you guys prefer horizon or winlater android anyways i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye